Hello everyone, welcome to Slip Joint Sawyer. It's Saturday, we do another response to John over at Thrifty Kniffy's Open Tag, which is Super Sack Saturday. Pretty straightforward, show a Swiss Army knife on a Saturday. And we're going to be looking, taking a look at one from Victorian Ox today, and this is quite a special one. Uh, it's actually a model that's been long discontinued, um, and then like an original of this model, the Yeoman, is really, really expensive, because obviously it's so it's quite rare. Um, so I got Dan to knock me up a custom one, same specification, pretty much just a couple of different changes with design rather than the tools. But that was Dan over at Bladebridge Customs. Make sure you check out his website. He's going to be dropping some really cool stuff there coming out very soon. So keep an eye out for that. He's also on Instagram under the same name. But yeah, we're going to take a look at the Yeoman today. So this it is a 91 millimeter. You can see that equates to, let's have a look ride about 3.6 inches closed did put some nice plus scales on this sort of the, the jelly blue or sort of translucent blue scales you can see through there you can see the victorinox there when the two tweezers are in there you can see it sort of highlights that on there and then being plus scales of course you do get the pen on the back now what's the main thing dif different for this compared to like a standard human is this has the black G10 liners that Dan's put in there and he's done an absolutely fantastic job. The quality of his work and craftsmanship is it's second to none. He does such a great job, sharpens the blades, everything lines up, there's never any wobble or play. He's just, he's a great guy as well, does a fantastic job. But the human then, it's a three layer design. Everything is absolutely standard bar you know, so the additional bits I've put on, which is the mini corkscrew and the plus scales. But you can see, instead of the normal front layer where you would get a cap lifter and the tin opener, you actually have the inline Phillips screwdriver. That's a 3D Phillips screwdriver. You can see that on there. It does make it really great, much better, I think, than the screwdriver that you would have in place of the corkscrew, as you can really get in like smaller gaps and use that really well. But then again, of course, you do still get the torque if you need it. You can put this in the half stop position and you can really get the torque on that if it's needed. Really nice snap and walk and torque on that on that tool. Just really impressed with this, like over the moon when, like, when it arrived from Dan. Just listen to the snap on all these. Great action. Really smooth as well. And then we have the magnifying glass this side and of course this is the older style with the grey plastic newer style does have a slightly bigger lens with clear plastic around you can see that there. if I bring it up to the watch you can see that magnifying there we go Let's see if you can get the orient there we go so it works really well and to be honest this is a much better opening layer for me but it's not very often I need to use a can opener or a large flathead screwdriver or a cap lifter I'm much more likely going to need the magnifying glass and the, the Phillips screwdriver. See that on in there? So it does make that layer a little bit thicker. Of course, these are two thicker tools. Next up then, we have the scissors on there. See, this is the 91mm style scissors. That really nice leaf spring design. They haven't changed and it works fantastically well. These have also been sharpened by Dan and... When I say they're scary sharp, they really are so smooth. It, honestly, they glide close. And you're not of scissors when you close them. You can feel them sort of not grabbing, but you can feel the blades rub against each other. You really can't with these. It's like they're not at all. But if you look, it's so, so close. They're just phenomenally sharp. And of course, the action on these tools, as, as you'd expect from any standard Victorian ox, is absolutely fantastic. Next up then, we have the main blade. And you can see that has been etched there with Dan's business logo. So you can see we have Blade Bridge Customs, a little Swiss Army knife in the middle there. And you can see the edge Dan has put on this. It is scary sharp. All the way down, just honestly, I don't know how he does it. It's so sharp. He does a better job. I use, and he does this freehand, right? Sharpens his freehand. I used a fixed angle system and I can't get it this sharp. That's how good he is. But we have the three line tang stamp there. You've got Victorinox Swiss made stainless. And then we have Officer Swiss on the back. Action on this blade, perfect. About a seven on the brake. 
but nice and easy on the open. So it's about five and a half to six to, till you get to about here. Then it really works up through to six and a half and then a seven on the snap. Being a 91 millimeter model, this is going to be a UK legal blade. We've got a tip to tang of one to 2.6, nearly 2.7. And then a cutting edge of one to, what are we looking at? 2.3, 2.4 inches. So very UK legal. There's nothing that locks on here. There's only one blade and it's within that requirement for what you can carry in the UK. But I don't know anyone that's going to get offended by a Swiss Army knife anyway. People see these and think multi-tool rather than a knife, which is great because I'm a huge fan of these. If you're familiar with the channel, you'll know that. And on the back then, we have the same little tools you would get on the compact. It is a little combo tool. So you have the wire bender, the cap lifter, the large flathead screwdriver. You can use the corner as a number two Phillips if you wish, but of course you wouldn't need to because you have the inline Phillips on here. And then you can also use this as a can opener or a tin opener. You can see this tip is slightly bent up here. You can kind of see the bend in the tool right about here. It's kind of hard to show on camera, but just about make it out where the light sort of moves from the middle. And you can actually open tins with this and it does work really well. Not as good as the original that you would normally have on the opening layer, but works fantastically well. And then the snap on these two, I just can't get over it. And on the back then we have the corkscrew and the multi-purpose hook, which I always have a problem getting out because it's so stiff to get out. Let's see if I can get out my thumb. Is it going to play ball? It's not going to play ball. But we have the multi-purpose hook there as well. The corkscrew on there, which I've added the little eyeglass screwdriver to. Pretty much an essential for any Swiss Army knife I have that's got a corkscrew on there. My glasses come loose. I know I can tighten them up because I'll always have that on me. And then, of course, you have the little pin in the back there as well. Scale tools then. We have the, the toothpick. We have the little ballpoint pen. Excellent in a pinch if you're stuck without a pen. And then on the front, we have the tweezers. So there we go, guys. That's my sort of review or overview on the Victorinox Human. Of course, this is a custom by Dan over at Blade Bridge Customs. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to like, subscribe and ring that bell for notifications. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.